Ladies and gentlemen, now today for a little bit of fun, I thought we'd take Captain Levi against the extreme versions of Red and also the Crimson Demon. I really want to test out this character against the Demons Man because I think he's going to be really, really good for it. He's got like guaranteed crits on the lowest health target. So if there's only one target, like everything crits. And I've got a brand new JP account because one of my uh, guild members has recently quit because of Super Awakening Man. He's just like, screw JP. It's like, see and do you want the account? And I love how having two accounts on global just due to the fact that i can run demon raids by myself so yeah i was like dude i will totally take that account um so yeah we got two accounts now to do demon raids on and make some fun little showcases just as a, a bit of a heads up for anybody that might be a bit confused that there are two scenes in this video today um but anyway let's uh let's get into it i think this is going to be a um a very fun video. Like, he's just going to absolutely butcher the Red Demon, I reckon. Uh, but Crimson Demon, I think, should be a really, really interesting one. Because he does have the uh, the advantage against Crimson. So I think that's going to be uh, a very fun one. But first turn, man, we want to get everything, you know, ranked up. Um, so, yeah, I haven't merged rank ups on any account. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to, like, dump the cards that I'm not too fussed about. So let's dump that. Let's dump that. On the other account, let's go for this, this, and this. And then I think we're going to use uh, Gustav's Freeze here. Then hopefully next turn on either account, we can draw um, a second rank up. Kind of get the, the rank up chains on Gotha going. And then we can just go uh, a, a little bit crazy on Levi, man. A little bit crazy, but we'll uh, we'll see. Okay, that's a that's a nice merger there. Uh, still no second rank up card on either account, though, so that is slightly unfortunate. But I think I'm going to drag this one over here. This one doesn't deal too much damage, so it gets us the Levi's ult a bit quicker. Uh, gives us some alternatives. And then I think I'm going to freeze on the main account, so let's get rid of that. Let's, uh, oh god, I kind of want to save that. Let's go for this, and then too many freezes, so I think we just fire this off and go for freeze over here. Got like three freezes in my hand on the, uh, the second account. So yeah, I just need a rank up, man. I just need one more rank up, and then we can literally line up the sickest combo of all time. But that, that was not too bad there. Okay, what do we have next? Okay, oh, I've, I've finally got a, a rank up, though, so that's pretty damn nice. Okay, I think just to finish off this phase, I'm gonna merge the rank up, and I think if we uh, we go to rank up everything, and then I just fire off, like, um, friggin' Gustafs, and go in for this silver over here, man, it's gonna be enough, and then we can just, like, dump uh, whatever else we need. So, yeah, that should be um, plenty to finish it off. So that ranks up everything, and then I've got a uh, a golden freeze and also a silver freeze in my hand on the JP account. So I think we rank up everything again. Ideally, I do want to get one more rank up so I can get uh, a gold rank up. Like ideally on the main account here, would be perfect. But yeah, unfortunately not. So what we're going to go for here is we're going to rank up everything. And then we're going to go for uh, Easton's uh, buff. Then we are going to go for a Golden Freeze. And we're going to fire off um, Levi's ult. And then just, I think, dump this and uh, dump this. But Levi's ult, I think, should um, easily clap here, man. But yeah, we got no base attack booster. But it, this increases all our attack-related stats. So it's also going to impact the crit damage as well. So yeah, hopefully it should be uh, a pretty good time here, but let's have a, a look at those numbers. So Levi's ult is going to hit for... Oh, dude, it's such a cool-looking ultimate attack. Yeah, just casual 1.2 million. Not too bad. I'll certainly take that, bro. If we had, like, you know, Gotha's attack buff as well, we would be properly laughing there. Damn, man. That was sick. That was really, really cool. So, uh, next turn, what we can do is, uh, let's fire off, uh, a freeze here. I think if we just go for one of these, it, sh it really should be good enough. Let's follow up with, uh, all the Levi cards. And yeah, GG, man. I think that should be, um, uh, pretty perfect there. Let's have a look at this golden Levi card. Got the freeze. That's gonna be almost a million there. So, uh, yeah. 
not too bad, man. Those guaranteed uh, crits, they're certainly putting in a uh, fair amount of work on the uh, the red demon. But let's go ahead now and take this man against the extreme version of the crimson demon. Also, just to show you, before we start the crimson demon on extreme, Levi has almost 15,000 attack there. Uh, don't have the weapon cosmetics for him, but he's got like the best attack set on, and also Lost Vein has a really, really good attack set as well. Uh, so yeah, they're pretty stacked up, and Levi is also super awakened. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to go for this setup. We got Arthur here. I've got like a Liz on both teams, man, just in case we need the healing. Because uh, I, th I feel like we are going to need it, um, especially on my, uh, what is it, second uh, account there. So yeah, let's uh, let's see how this one goes on. I think this should be a, uh, an interesting little showcase here. Again, if we can just keep on like bouncing those rank ups back and forth, we're going to be absolutely laughing. But hopefully one of the accounts can start with rank ups, man. That'd be really, really good. But if not, both of the lizards have some pretty good ways to funnel up. Oh, however, man, that, that is a nice, a very, very nice start there. Do you want to push like super aggressive on this one? We could do. So let's rank up there. Let's uh, rank up again. And then let's go into um, gold. And then we're just going to like nuke him with Levi, man. We've got like another Levi card we use. Or do we save that one? I think I'm going to use a, a Liz card here. Because that uh, funnels up everybody's ult gauge by two as well. So that can help us get to a Levi ult like really quick. I'm, I'm hoping that this one just does work. Let's have a look at this gold card. There we go, 200,000 off the first swing. Dude, if I'd followed up with a second one there, would have been game over. I should have maybe gone for that. It's not not a bad play. I I don't know if I was a bit too aggressive with my rank ups though. If I should wait, should have waited like eternal two more. Some of the challenges uh, more toward the final phase. But I, th I think we just send it, man. So let's go for uh go for Liz's ult here, get Levi's ult next turn. Hmm. Okay, so that phase is is done with. I think we just throw off uh this as well. And then let's just dump uh these cards. Oh actually I got one more to use on here. So what do I want to use? Just a plate smash, I think. Okay, so next turn, we I think we use Levi's ult. It one-shots the next phase. I think it should want... Yeah, it probably does one-shot the next phase. But uh, then I think we go into the last phase and we don't really have too much of a plan. That's maybe like a bad place to not have a plan. <laughs> but uh, we'll see, man. We'll see. Oh, God, I just want to see the numbers on it. Okay, we've, we've got to go for it. And let's go for what else realistically? Let's go for that. That'll actually funnel up Levi's ult a bit more. And then it, maybe if we can like quickly funnel another Levi ult, we could be in good business. So yeah, we've used three cards over there. Let's just go for Gotha's ult as well. That one's probably going to be returned to me. Okay, I'm really interested to see what this ult crits for here. So again, guaranteed crit, and it's going to be. 300,000 with a gold buff. Very, very nice. Oh, mate. He's a bit of a machine. I really do like Levi, man. I think for certain content, he's got some great uses. I don't think he's the best out there. I think maybe Blue Dean Melly could potentially still outperform this fella. But definitely, uh, definitely does some cool stuff, man. Definitely does some very cool stuff. Right, let's skip that ult there. Okay, now final phase. We're about to lose... Uh, the gold buff. I have no rank ups on this one. One on here. Uh, oh, hello. Okay, that's not too bad. Can we get Levi's ult? So if I go for this rank up here. Okay, so I go for this. And then I chuck the second rank up out. And then we go for Liz's ult. Then I want to fire off this. And then go for Arthur's ult. So this gives me Levi's ult next turn. I don't know if I can buff him up. I don't think I can unless I upgrade or get a merger on uh, Arthur for the additional booster. But this should put a decent dent in him. Okay, nice 152k. No buffs there. 
What's Arthur going to hit for here? Yeah, I think ideally I'm, I should have probably stalled a bit more um, early on, but <laughs> we're just tearing him down so damn fast. Okay. Um, don't really have, like... We, we've got Levi's ult. Don't have any way to, like, buff up the Levi, though. That's a bit unfortunate. Yeah, I've got like an Arthur Bronze card on the free-to-play, but that's not really going to touch the sides too much. So let's go for Arthur's ult. Let's go for this single target. I'll throw it as an AoE cleave card, so not going to deal as much as the single target one. Might as well chuck off the regeneration for a bit of safety. And then I'll uh, throw out these, I think. But hopefully this KOs, man. Come on, Levi. You got this, my son. Oh, we didn't get a guaranteed crit there. I know he's a bit more resistant to crits in the final phase, but that still should have been guaranteed, right? Because then that makes a difference between, like, I'm pretty sure it says guaranteed crits and not increases crit by 100%. It's actually, I think, one of the first times I've seen him fail a crit, man. Oh, that's a bit annoying. So yeah, it looks like um, the Crimson Demon does interfere with his guaranteed uh, crits in that final phase. I, knew, I know he does have the uh, the high resistance to it, but we have the cards now perfectly to uh, finish off this match. Well, hopefully anyway, man. These spike cards, like, they ideally do need to crit. Oh, Goth is getting a bit nuked. Is he gone? Yeah, that Goth is gone. Not too much of an issue. I think we just, we chuck these in. Worst case scenario, Levi probably survives till the turn after. And then we've got his ult, but sh should be enough, hopefully, here, just to finish off this match. Well, let's, uh, let's go for it, man. Let's go for it. A 65k. 39,000 there. And, uh, it's, oh gosh, that's not enough. Yeah, he's very, very resilient to damage in this final phase outside of vaults. Oh, no, going to get patience. It's again patience again. Oh, mate, this man is laughing. Okay, so he's going to go for Liz. That's good news. As long as he doesn't go for Levi, man, we're absolutely fine. Uh, I feel quite, quite confident at the moment. There we go. One final Levi ult. Sort this man out. No friggin' hassle. I think one of my favorite Crimson um, uh, Demon takedowns recently uh, was definitely the, the what was it, the Red Melascular one, where we did like a crazy wombo combo with her Ignite cards and Escanor to uh, <laughs> one turn KO the final phase. But yeah, that was really, really fun. However, Levi, man, certainly a very enjoyable character to play around with. I really don't know what was going on with the, the crits in that final phase, because, like, nothing, I don't think, uh, really crit there anyway. I think maybe some of the, the spike cards in the middle did. Um, but yeah, again, I think according to, let me just check on GC database here. If we have a look at Levi, like his passive should read, the hero, uh, I'll just bring it up as well, the hero will always against the enemy that has the lowest leftover health applies when there is only one enemy also applies when all enemies have the same health ratio so yeah he should he should have crit toward the end there and i'm really not too sure um like what messed that up uh but yeah hopefully that is fixed by the time it comes to global because i think that last phase would have like gone a lot quicker if it did uh but yeah still pretty cool man really really do enjoy levi uh so yeah ladies and gentlemen if you did enjoy today's video please do smash that like button that'd be greatly appreciated so from that thank you very much for watching take care and i hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day